No, I'll, mm-hmm. never, I'll never tell him when it starts. You'll never, you'll never make tell. Daniel, take Instagram. Okay, it it has mixed started. Let's make go. Okay, so where we last left off, uh, everything went to hell. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> so Aaron, uh found uh, Sun's home, which uh, was like an old abandoned library, and some stuff had clearly gone down there at some point, uh, and off of uh, some skeletons, he pulled uh, a couple books talking about the Pantheon and about the war, and there were some revisions to that second book uh, that I gave to them that I don't think anyone's going to be watching this, so I don't think it really matters yeah. what those revisions are. But Woo, no for posterity's sake, might as well include them. Um, hmm? I can for posterity's sake, might as well just mention them. Okay. Uh, okay, so the the gist of that book was uh, it was a, a journal, essentially. Uh, huh. It, it talks about how the ministry uh, leading up to the war, the Red Ministry, this, this group of, of humanities, like, wizards uh, that they had been studying for, for ages, and they were beginning to get old, and they realized our, we don't want this empire that we've built up to die. So they sort of combine their efforts, and they figure out how to become immortal. Uh, which, which directly boy, flies in, yeah. yeah, which directly flies in the face of, uh, well, Loon, directly. Uh, and they thought, Woo! well, how can we, how can we prevent him from smiting us? Uh, so they, they, they were hatching a, a plan to, to kill him, or at least detain him. Um, <clears throat> and, the guy who authored the book was pretty much saying that he was terrified of it failing, and he just kind of stayed as much out of it as he could. Uh, and when the day finally came to enact their plan, they all took the the steps to immortality uh, together uh, as a whole, and then began their plan. And something that they're unsure of what exactly went wrong. Uh, they all all of them died except for the author of this book. Uh, his he sort of loses his mind a little bit after that. The the writing's all jumbled and messed up. Uh, the author of the book goes by the name of Talistar, and he is believed to be the last one alive after that war. Uh, there's no telling if he's alive now or not, but. Who knows? And then, um, after Aaron found these, he had a, a discussion with Nero and Tadril about the gods and about you know what what is and isn't true. And that night, uh, Nero sort of left camp, had some alone time, and when she came back, she was crying, tear like. Eyes bloodshot. She uh, goes over to Tadriel, who had been during that conversation speaking of uh, some angel that betrayed. Oh, yeah, that's also the thing. Uh, Aaron found out that uh, Do, another god, the goddess of peace, love, forgiveness, uh, is dead, and um, and then Nero goes over to Tadriel. Who supposedly killed the angel who betrayed her and says and, and drops to her knees and says, I, I am that angel. Uh Q scene. Okay. Cueing music. I don't know what to say. How what what force revealed this to you? Nero. Answer me! And, um, the orb slowly 
uh, revi- slowly um, escapes from her chest. It doesn't. Oof. Tachil <laughs> goes into... Tachil's kind of going into a full-on rage at this moment. Like, he's kind of roiding out a little bit. Like, like she- things are bulging. His symbol is fucking gleaming. Like, brighter than usual. She grasps at her chest, like, and sincerely trying to, in a way, force it out, but uh, I don't suppose it does come out. No. All, all you can feel of it is just anger. She's... Yeah, Nero starts crying more. I suppose it makes sense. She grasps at she grasped at her chest. I suppose it makes sense now. Ever since I woke up those years ago, there was something about you I knew, I recognized. And it's been so long that I just, I knew. And now I realize what that had meant. The shaman had shown me what my purpose was, why I had thrown myself from the heavens. I had killed you once and sent you here. I can see that now. You're an Asimar, a reincarnated angel. Fate has delivered you to me. You have committed the ultimate heresy. You stepped from the light of Doe in absolute betrayal. Your sentence is long overdue. Tadriel is... Uh, Tadriel attacks Nero with his greatsword that he had been training with. Aaron casts hold person. Oh, all up. Uh, first, I want Tadriel to roll attack. She doesn't even look up at him. She's her, oh, fa- she's her face is towards the ground. She's prone, right? Yeah, I mean she's on her knees. You get advantage. Yeah, and she's not dodging. This is happening in the second half of the night, right? This is in the morning. This is right before you, um, okay. everyone else is getting up. Okay, so I'm up. So yeah, so Belgian. yeah, Belgian's witnessing this. Yeah. Everyone who is now witnessing this is Bruce and um. Be Veldrin, Veldrin's fingers go up. Uh, you know what's, you know what he's holding up. Finger guns, baby. Time to firebolt, if necessary. You, that's he's a. The... That's a fifty. He's swinging. That's he, he he swung. That's that's what is happening. So Aaron sees like Tadriel grab his sword, and he like raises up his hand to try to stop him and Tadriel takes his sword and swings down on Nero's neck and is blasted about 15 feet away from her uh, and knocked to the ground uh, as a, a as a shockwave of red energy flies out from Nero's chest and uh, the orb floats out of her chest. Uh, and Tadril, you look up. You look up. You see this red swirling mass uh, float towards you, and go up into the air. It's maybe ten feet in the air, and from it, uh, you hear. A voice you've heard many times before, although it's been a very long time. Uh, the voice of your lady. Uh, she says, <clears throat> Tadriel, I have had enough of this. Never did I think that one of my own could be so hateful and warlike. If not for your blind zealotry, Uriel would not have to be going through these tribulations in the first place. And I would not have had to leave this world alone for decades. 
Now I won't even have the energy to guide her. <laughs> Defend her with your life. She's come further in her short time on this planet than you have since your creation. This is an order. And it... Collapses back to its original size. And... Like... Bolts back into Nero. Into her forehead. Nero, give me... A... Charisma saving throw with advantage. Mm -hmm. All right, 22. Okay. Uh, it flies back into Nero's side, and uh, Nero just collapses on the ground. <sighs> Did we see that, by the way? Or just Adriel? Everyone, everyone saw that. Did everyone hear it? Did everyone understand it? Was it everyone understood. He was just like everyone, kneeling every, on the ground. Like it, ever since he okay. saw that he was just like immediately yeah. fucking kneeling and he's just like like com his whole body is just completely shaking and he's sweating bullets. Um Belgian gets up and goes and checks on Nero. Like Nero, Nero's fucking dead. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's <laughs> he doesn't Nero. have a pulse. <laughs> Uh, she seems kind of weak, but she seems at least stable. Um, Tadriel, what just happened? Uh, uh, do, do, uh, uh still alive? It... Belton, heal her. Heal her immediately. Heal Nero immediately. I demand you! What? I will heal her. What is happening, Tadriel? I do believe you owe us some sort of complete explanation. Will... If you give us an explanation, I will heal her. While you explain. Deal? So, okay. Okay, that seems fair enough. I guess... Uh, we're in this together now. We fought for life and limb together. Risked each other's lives together. The least I can do is give you an explanation. I'm sure you're aware. I told you the story of Uriel. Uh, real quick, sorry. An real quick. Age. Belgian's gonna pop the cure wounds on Nero while he's talking. Thank you. You, you do, so I'll get to that in a minute. Yeah. I told you all the story of Uriel. Correct. Now, the details are still quite foggy. After all, I have lost most of my memory. It was from the fall. It was quite intense. But... From my memory, Uriel was an angel, like I said, who betrayed Doe. And in that moment, that that was when I gave into this incredible rage. This that was the greatest rage I'd ever known in my entire existence. And I mercilessly slew the angel Uriel. And knowing that their soul would be sent to to, uh, to Santa Tite, uh, Santa Callisto, I threw myself to the material world. And Voluntary exile? In a manner of speaking, yes. So that I could send, so that I could so that I could destroy them once more. And so, after quite a bit of slumbering, I had awoken, but with none of my memories. And I found Nero and was drawn very close to her from some sort of resemblance I could not explain. And now, and when I realized who she was, just now, the person who killed my mother, I thought it only fitting that I should slay Uriel once more. But, turns out, 
Doe is still alive at some capacity. Does seem that way. A new hope. This is... I, I don't know. I don't know what that... I need to protect her with my life. I know this may be, seem strange as I just tried to kill her in quite a bit of a... Um, well, moment of anger-fueled oversight. But now I realize I have a new purpose. I need to protect Nero and Doe. Do you have any idea what... Doe is still alive. She's she's still alive. Do, do you have I can't idea believe how? It. it was... I think it may have been the orb. The orb and Titan. Do you remember? Well, yes. The one in... Narrow, currently. Gina, your friend, couldn't really identify it. It was... completely unbreakable. But that night, after we had left Titan and found ourselves in the York forests. I stayed behind while you all tried to go work the door. And what I saw in that moment, that orb, it fused to narrow. And I believe that this orb, that, that orb, it was a piece of dough. We found it in her skeleton after all. It's some fragment of her, some piece. A hope that we need to hold on to with all of our lives. Do you think she can be brought back? Well, is she is she gone? What? What's wrong? She, she she's still breathing, right? Veldrin? I mean, I mean, Doe. We have what I seems think... to be a small fragment of her consciousness. Do you think a god can be brought back to life? Well, she never died in the first place. It would seem. Perhaps through worship we could bring her back to a level of strength. This could... This could stop... This could stop so much of the violence that has been occurring in the Flaming Desert in the York Forests for the past century. We could end so much undue suffering with this. We need... this. I... just had a thought. So... The, uh, back at Titan, one of the reasons we're able to be civilized is because this, because it's built upon the skeleton of Doe, correct? And this fragment of Doe in some way influences the people there and their disposition. Yes. Don't, don't say what, you're about, you what I think you're about to say. Now that the fragment is itself. here... Uh, I doubt that it was entirely the, the fault of the orb itself. Perhaps it could only be one piece of it. After all... I don't think... I think we should approach Titan with caution, just in case... The influence of the orb was the only thing keeping civilization going. I doubt such a small fragment could bring the entire region of Serenia... We... We hear your doubts, Tadril, and we understand it, but... But I, but I believe there could be more. But right now, what we need to worry about is what's in front of us. One step at a time. I think Serenia, for the time being, should be fine. Well, you do know more about this than we do, so... We'll defer to your judgment. Um, Aaron, I don't know if you want to come over here and do a full checkup on... Nero, I know you you know more about that than I do. I cast cure wounds on her if you want to take a look at her. I'll Go ahead. see what I can do. Uh, Michael is I'd like to standing inspect. by Nero's unconscious body now. Alright. So very quickly, how much did you heal her for? Uh I will get back to and how much does how much does uh cure wounds plus mod. Her? DA plus mod, okay. Because I couldn't do anything because my freaking chrome used up all my RAM and crashed. So, <laughs> so give, me, give me one second. Uh, yeah, baby. <laughs> gotta love it, baby. Let me help. Chrome fucking crashes because you don't have enough fucking RAM. So, give me your wait, fucking RAM. we've taken. So, wait, how many long. So, wait, when was the last. So, 
how many long rests did we take between um, when Tadril had the spar and when we do we do we had do we have a long rest between those two? Between yeah, it's been a couple of days. Rests? Okay, let me see. Cause 11. the sparring match was about here, so you've had one. This is going to be this was going to be the second one. Okay, so I guess that means I don't have my Asmar healing anymore, because that only recharges with the long rest, and I spent this long rest training. Yeah. Okay. So, so wait, how much did you heal her for? Eleven. Eleven. Okay. So, pretty much, Veldrin has sort of not been fully focusing on it, so it's been taking forever, because uh, he's also been invested in the conversation. And he calls Aaron over, and then he he finishes up, and uh, you know, you you wake up with twelve hit points. Um. In your mind, you the sort of constant emotions that you felt from the the orb that you had before are gone, but in its place, you get the the feeling of just having completed a challenge. This sort of it's it's the same feeling that you had the first time that you got it where every aspect of your personality of your being has been tested and this time you emerge triumphant Nara are you are you alright she just kind of she opens her eyes very slowly and And for a second, she doesn't really move, and then she, her eyes just stay fixated in the sky until about a moment passes, and then she looks over to Aaron, nods, and slowly sits up, and notices Tadril is there. Tadril's fucking crying right now. Falling. So, uh, do you need Rexy? Sorry. Rexy waddles up to Nero and she sits up. She just kind of started staring at her like, what just happened? <laughs> Do you need some more rest now? No. No, I don't think so. That was dough, huh? It most certainly was. You're the vessel. Tadril kind of is like doing, like, is like kneeling right now. She doesn't. She doesn't look at you. She's still looking down in front of her. I am. She has chosen you. She starts shaking a little bit. Why? Senses. Why? Why? Of all people. If I had to take a guess, I'd say it's something of a redemption. Shot at redemption. I don't. I don't deserve redemption. She she shoots up. I don't. No. I I committed the worst crime imaginable. There's no. I don't. I can't. She walks. She walks away a little bit. No. No, please wait. And Tadril's just like kind of like following behind her briskly. No. She she stops and points at him. No. Stay. I need time to think. I need time to think right now. 
as you wish. She walks away. Veldrin leans into Aaron. Um, should, should one of us follow her? I'll follow. No, I think it's best that we leave her alone for a short while. All right, then. And Veldrin kind of pats her hand on the shoulder and goes and checks on everyone else, make sure they're still asleep and that no, and like to see if anyone woke up from the whole everything. Well, I mean, spirit doesn't sleep, so well, it's that. Not, well, yeah, spirit's awake. Because, spirit's the whole thing was quiet. Well, the thing is, okay, Bruce is still asleep. Pika's still asleep. Uh, He's in your everyone else. I forget. We really don't have any people that sleep, do we? Yeah. So uh, Veldrin goes and checks on those two just to. Make sure they're okay and just like not awake out of nowhere. Just like woke up when the fucking orb went giant and yelled. <laughs> how how what what time is it right now? Sunrise. Okay. This is such a way I've never known. It looks like this is your shot at redemption to you, Tadriel. Yes. She's alive. She, she's alive. I think we're just gonna we're gonna wait until yeah. either Nero comes back or everyone else wakes up. So, David, does she does she come back at any point? While she's out there, she just walks for I say a good hour, just thinking to herself, thinking what you know, what happened, what's going on, and do, and then she collapses to her knees and. She'll try to take the orb out. She can. She she is able to. Very shakingly, it's in the palm of her hands, and she asks it. Uh, are you still there? You don't get her. Please, please be there. I don't know what to do. She just kind of stays there for a long time. Thinking to herself. How long of a time? More definitely after everyone gets up. Mm. So, Deco, at some oh. point you you wake up. Oh, Vico, glad you're awake. We've had some developments over the night. It it was very interesting. Um, and fill me in. Uh. Well, Nero killed a god. Hey. And, uh, Explain. Essentially, Nero came back in the early morning, told us she was Uriel, the one who killed Do. Uh, Tadriel. Oh, Vico's just shocked. Tadriel was, uh, understandably upset by this, and slightly less understandably attacked her. Uh, however, the orb protected her, and an image of Doe appeared, and scolded Tadriel for being so rash and attacking what is essentially her host. It seems that she's offering Nero a chance for redemption uh, by carrying her around, and Tadriel 
a chance for redemption by protecting Nero. So, the status quo remains unchanged, but quite a bit of information has been added to the table. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. Is, is Tadril still here? Oh, he's, he's definitely still here. Um, so, Tadril, how do you feel about the whole situation? I know. It's just, at the moment, when I learned that Nero was Uriel, Nero is this, had this, was the reincarnation of the angel that killed my mother, who yeah. betrayed Doe. I kind of went a little bit berserk. I attacked Nero, and turns out she's, she's still alive. She's still alive. This is joy. This is this is incredible. I I have been charged with defending her once more. I. We. This is something. This is a new hope for so many people. Do you know what this means, Vico? Tadril hugs Vico. Um. What does it mean, Tadril? Means we can means that we can bring spread peace throughout the land. It means we can restore the Pantheon. It means we can undo so much death. So many horrible things that happened after as a result of the death of Doe. Ah. Well, if you think it'll help, then it will certainly will be at the one of the forefronts of our quest, on top of stopping whatever hive mind that we've been facing. Yeah. I've been having some kind of some thoughts about that. Something so strange about it. It's we know that it's some kind of modification of Sket symbol. That's the symbol it uses. <laughs> yes. Now, what we need to remember is that what we learned about this entity, this collective consciousness, is that it's built on the unification of a group of minds. Don't you see the irony there? Sked is a goddess of separation, yeah. the opposite of unification, yet this entity is built on some kind of dark unity. Some kind of unification between the minds of others. Some kind of great parasite. Well, and according nice. to you, Aaron, it seemed to take over the mind of your student. Correct? Yes, indeed. Well, so long as it spreads discourse among the people of this world, I guess it fits in line with the attributes of Sket. But it's doing it through a unity. Whatever helps accomplish the goal. Whatever means justify the end. But it's contradictory and to its very nature as Sked. In my personal experience, gods are self-contradictory in and of themselves. Uh, I'm gonna have to disagree with you on that, Fico. But it's not the time. It's just some kind of weird thought I had. Aaron! Yes. Do you have any parchment? Uh, I believe so. Let me rummage through my bag. Uh, do I have any parchment? Yes. Here you go. Thank you so much. What do you need? piece of parchment for I'm writing and... down I'm writing down things I can remember some prayers to Doe I believe that we could potentially restore Doe to her former strength through faith and worship do you that's have the a pen? first thought I came to I do you I, I do have a pen you might need that if you're writing down you're perhaps. the best Aaron <laughs> Fico's gonna back away from Tadriel towards I guess where Veldrin's standing 
Veldrin is in his own head at this point, coming up with his own theories that all of which come to dead ends, but So Veldrin, uh Vika whispers. What's your take on this whole situation? I'm I'm a little I'm a little uh, I don't even know. Very very concerned for the most part of anything. And just I didn't think a trip to Titan would evolve into a chase or trying to resurrect a god. I didn't think a trip to the armory would resurrect a god either, but you know. I just <clears throat> as as much as I love this group and love hanging out here and doing this adventure to get metal and stuff, I don't like the prospect of fighting some possibly living eternal lich dang per, eternal person thing and uh, god gods get involved it's just one thing after another here it does seem to be like that really and then beyond this period again don't forget the red <laughs> ministry was crushed and all that remains is this talistar Without the without the fellowship of his other liches, he's likely very vulnerable. Mm-hmm. Oh. And and drop. Oh, some... oh, yeah. and drop because he was safe. Okay. Yeah. I so. Yeah. No, I don't have anything. Yeah. I would... To make I was gonna say, yeah. uh, result Ben, are you here? By the way, if he joined back yes, yes, I am. Yeah. yeah. What 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 has Spirit been doing this entire time? Because he he witnessed that yep. whole exchange. <laughs> oh, he did. <laughs> um, and uh, I think uh, I he doesn't really understand what's going on, so he doesn't. Get involved. I mean, he probably wouldn't get involved anyways, even if he understood what was going on. But um, no, he's probably um, he's probably becoming a little more set in a thought right now. But yeah, he's probably just thinking. Okay. Um, too much importance. Gotcha. So does does Nero ever come back? Narrow. Uh, cricket. <clears throat> no. Dang. Damn. She doesn't. Okay. Stay in the same spot she was. So. <laughs> Narrow just never comes back. After a couple so, hours, I think I think we'd start to. Sorry. Start to look for. <laughs> I mean, Touch if everybody's it. awake now, yeah. Mm. Spell that doesn't be like, I told you we should have gone behind her. We We'd quite her. like to get into the city. Uh, so, do y'all send someone to go look for her? I'll go. I'll go. Oh, that's a group. Mm. I think it might be best if... Yeah, both of you went along... Vico as a supervisor to make sure nothing uh, gets out of hand. Mediator. Yes. Do some bonding. Shamrock steps for pads forward. <laughs> well, Shamrock. We Shamrock. We could give him a bit of a bird's eye view. I'd like to. I'd like to cast speech <laughs> with animals and ask Shamrock if he caught what was going on. I do not understand context of it I I know a <laughs> oh god I didn't think about this um <laughs> you know, well, I have not met Doe personally I have in the past Ild had told me 
of the of his his brothers and sisters. I I do not know what is going on here. But I I'd like I'd like to simply explain it to him. Not too much detail, but just enough mm. that he can suggest what's going on. So he is a, if. He, he, he just kind of thinks. Thunk. And then he, he, he says, okay. And he, he just, he, he pads away in, in the direction that, uh, well, sorry, I guess he would, he wasn't awake, so he'd probably have to roll survival to <laughs> Find which direction you can Nero. Up my <laughs> I point, I yeah, point, it's, I it's gonna Shamrock be easy. In the direction I saw Nero go off, and he, he, he starts sniffing around, and then you point him, and he he nods, and he he takes off into the sky. And we wait so for Nero to get back. Let's we go to. Vico, let's. We should still at least walk and go there, yes. check ourselves a little bit. Yes, yes. Couldn't sure. hurt. Okay. Um. May I ask, like, so if it's like an hour walk, then it's like a half hour. Okay. So Shamrock flies ahead of y'all. Um. And then after. Maybe 45 minutes, he'd then fly back down and just give, like, a, a, a short nod. He, he, like, comes back, and he, he flies down, and he just acknowledges that y'all are going in the right direction. All right. And then after another 15 minutes... Uh, Y'all come across Nero kneeling down in the sand. Off in the probably like by the time y'all see her, it's, she's probably like a five minute walk away. So like Tadril allow Tadril, me to Tadril fucking Tadril sprints. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's just a fat nope. That's that's the most Vico Tadril interaction I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is, yeah. that is just so. Tadio, let me. um, I, I, I'd recommend a. <laughs> oh, calm no. down, man. Bolts. Narrow. Because he begins to walk over. She does. She doesn't move. She did. Okay, Narrow. Mummified on the spot. Anything? I have water. Uh, I have some rations. If you, you need anything, are you okay? If you walk like up beside her, um, she is currently is kneeling, um, her head bowed. Um, her eyes are open. They're a bit blood. Uh, they're a bit bloodshot, but you can see that she was crying, but the tears have long since dried up as she's now just blankly staring at the sand beneath her. Okay, listen, I'm really sorry that I almost decapitated you. That that was a moment of weakness, but that won't happen again. I'm really sorry about that, Nero. She doesn't respond. Um, I think it's at this point that Vika is like right about catching up to <laughs> to this whole situation. Yeah. Rico's here. Yes. Um. So, Nero. How do I? No response. I think. How do Tadjo you? puts a hand on the shoulder. You you rub her shoulders and it moves. 
Um, she doesn't fall forward, but she stays relatively the same spot. No response. So, uh, Nero, how do you feel about this situation? No response. She did. Tadril, um, I, I, I know this. Shatrash can heal people, right? Maybe that's what's wrong with her. Uh, I, I... What's, wrong? what's wrong, Vico? Tadril, I understand you're excited at, at this, this huge prospect. I, I understand. Um, but perhaps it would be best if you not leave, but give Nero some uh, much-needed privacy at the moment. Uh, you know what? I guess, you know, nothing else we've tried has worked, so... I leave. I leave the water skin and rations by Nero, and I walk away. Uh, Vico goes and she sits. Just, you know, I guess you're right, Vico. This is kind of huge, and I guess she just needs a moment to process it. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna walk over to uh, where Nero is. Um. So, how exactly is is Nero positioned again? Like a. Um, she's sent, uh, think of her like in a sort of prayer kneel, her head bowed, her hands are on her knees. Okay. She's, but she's, um, she's really, uh, she's really still, her eyes unblinking, looking at the ground beneath her. Okay, uh, Vico takes off the coat and, uh, puts it over her shoulders. Um, and he, he, he sits down on the ground. Nero, I understand there's a lot going on right now. Not only do you find out that you un you've been reincarnated from someone else, but that someone else was the very same person who killed a god. But... You obviously need time to process this. This is very huge. But she chose you, and she seems to be sticking with you. So. Doesn't seem to be any odd feelings there. No response. Uh, while this is happening, Tadril's just going to be kind of like at a distance where he can clear, see, like uh, still see the two, and he's going to pull out his parchment and start writing prayers to Do that he can remember. Okay. How long does Vico stay there? Uh, Vico's going to stay there so long as she stays there. I say another hour passes. And then, she says very quietly, you can barely hear it. Mm. Do I deserve it? Do I hear that she at least said, like, something? Yeah. Since you're, like, right next to her, you do hear it. So I heard, like, what she said? Yeah, barely. This of what? Redemption. Nero. I want you to think about this. Yes, you are the reincarnation of Uriel. But you yourself 
did not kill her. This is not your doing. You didn't choose to kill her, and you certainly didn't choose to be reincarnated. This isn't... You do not take the blame for this. So... While it is not necessarily a redemption for you, it could very easily be a redemption for your real. And but what if it was me? Tell me, Nero. What if it's just a new body? I. It, Tell me, Nero. Uh, what Do you what if I'm still the same soul? Do you, as Nero, remember taking the life of a god? Does it matter? It does. By association. But there's Uriel's soul to mine. And Even if I didn't physically kill that god, I am responsible for it. For housing a soul that did. But you know who else's soul you are currently housing? Doe's herself. You're not I just- I shouldn't- go on. I- I- I don't deserve her soul. That right should belong to Tadra. But it chose me. <laughs> didn't- Didn't Tadra say that he felt some sort of anger from- the, the, from Doe, the first time that he touched it. And I was Don't. informed that a image of Doe appeared and scolded him for being so wrathful and vengeful. Oh. It makes sense why any sane person would be vengeful of their god dying. <laughs> their mother Dying. Any now, take it from somebody who for every day of his life has felt some form of, of hate or anger towards God. She's clearly she chose uh, I can't speak for her, but I think in some way she chose you. In, I in don't... some capacity. Coincidences like this don't happen every day. I just don't understand why. That's something for you to find out. The answers are never gonna always be readily apparent. Because if they were, we would never have any problems. We, we would never have any struggles in life because we would just know the answers to everything. Oh. Well. The most... The reason why most people have struggles nowadays is because the god fucking died of ego. <laughs> I understand that. But even before that, life wasn't easy. There were still struggles. People still had their everyday, day-to-day -day struggles that they dealt with. Now, yes, things have become significantly worse since that. But it was never easy, and it's never going to be easy. But you could, if what Tadril is saying is correct, if we can restore her in some form to her former uh, form, we could alleviate that burden significantly from everyone in this world. We could restore it to some semblance of the past. Maybe. Maybe. 
be, right? Come on. Let's get going. Everyone's worried. Vika just <laughs> smiles at her. Everyone's worried about me, huh? That's funny. They're our friends, for better or for worse. <laughs> Friends, huh? She slowly gets up. Thank you. Vika. Well, if I can't help myself, might as well help another person, right? <laughs> now, come on. We've got some ground to cover. She hands you your coat. No, you keep it. I'm... Actually thinking about uh, getting a bit more protective gear once we get into town. But I have one. Uh, sure. But sit. Well, she doesn't have her bag with her, so she just fold it, carry it. I left. I left the water skins in ration. Yeah, she'll there. pick yeah. those. She'll pick those up as well. Tadril, if you're still there, we're coming. Okay, we've just been writing out prayers. Whatever makes you happy, my friend. <sighs> Let us go. Let's go. And we walk back. Y'all kind of head... my eye. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Bro, literally, like, half of this session, I've been sitting here on the verge of tears. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, sorry. y'all... So... At the end of that fucking talk, when Vigo was talking, I couldn't help but imagine with a cigarette in his mouth, just because I... <laughs> How, 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 when like something in between his teeth and he was trying to talk through his teeth. I was, I do. God. I do, I have a tooth okay. to God. I have a tooth to in between my teeth. When when Nero wasn't responding, I was literally I was literally sitting here thinking, "Come on, Vico, be her father figure that she needs. Pick her up and carry her back on your shoulders." <laughs> yeah, carry, carry. <laughs> wow, wow, he does, my arm. <laughs> he does nothing if not a gentleman. He would never do that to a lady. <laughs> carry, carry my sixty-five pound armor with my lady. Tips, <laughs> tips Fedora Milady on Sheath Katana. I imagine I Vika as Hugh Jackman with like a cigar in his mouth during that talk. Oh, dude. And you know that when Vika like runs at someone to hit him, he's just like Wolverine grunting like. It's a lot trainier. Okay. So by the time they get back, it's about midday. It's been it's been quite some time, but uh, as as we walk over the horizon, different. I look at everyone and I give them a big two thumbs up. Ah, oh, thank goodness, they're not dead. What did oh what did they do with Vico? She's going insane. Oh, I died, Stan! I died, Stan! Oh. Uh, Alright, so... I suppose you all have worked some things out? Um, yes. Yes, uh, things were in fact worked out. That's nice to hear. Well, it's about time right. we actually head into the city. Sorry to keep Are you already keep your No, that's okay. fine, Nero. So... You all set out and uh, continue in the direction y'all were initially traveling. And after maybe about thirty minutes of walking, uh, y'all begin to see it. Uh, in the in the distance, you see what looks like an a an enormous dome of swirling fog. You can't really see through it. It's just it's just this sort of white dome with. Streaks of gray uh, swirling throughout it. I suppose that's our destination. Indeed. Very ominous. 
and again, what really hasn't been an Anjani. True. I'd hate to see how ominous the other towns are. Mm. Isn't that right, Bruce? <laughs> Bruce just debuzzing in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> we actually left Bruce. Bruce is still sleeping. We left him behind. God. Oh, okay, I've got I've got Bruce taken care of. Okay, so Bruce is actually already in the town. He's just slaughtering all the townspeople. That's has a heart is. attack. God. <laughs> yeah. and, so, and now we pull him just like a sleigh. Okay, so do y'all head in? Mm-hmm. Mm. No, we're gonna wait uh, around for like three hours and then then we'll go in. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, Elgin no. takes off Rex and holds him in his arms while they go. So y'all, you'll make your way to the uh, the swirling dome of clouds and mist, and uh, as you reach the the threshold of it, um, it seems it's like it, you reach it and you realize it's like it's cold already, but like it, it the fog is frigid. Good thing I have two coats. Uh-huh. <laughs> he goes now. <laughs> yeah, what? because just like maybe you wouldn't be if you had kept that uh that coat I made you instead of using it for a water skin. Glances at. <laughs> oh, yeah. Veldrin dumps coat. out five cubic feet of water from the water skin that he made from it. <laughs> oh my! Was <laughs> ready for the ice water. <laughs> It was okay for the, the ice water, water bucket challenge. Dude, yeah. For ALS, baby. Ice bucket challenge, so, baby. Do y'all, uh, do y'all step in? Uh, yeah. Step through, I should say? I guess. Well, sure, why not? <laughs> Go wrong. Shoulder, what? Hold on <laughs> to my shoulder. What? I'm not blind. Just, it's fog. <laughs> it's fog. Tadril, I understand you want to protect her, but she's not a child. Been charged with it. I'm I pretty sure I'm older than you. She can also see. She's blind <laughs> as she is previous. Okay. I'll I step off and go. <laughs> Nero walks away on purpose now. <laughs> uh, uh, y'all, bad touch, y'all bad touch, step. stranger danger. <laughs> oh. They'll step through into the fog, and uh, everything around you disappears as you're surrounded by a cloud of just white. Um, it's no. freezing. A KKK uh, ball. Wait. Like, despite, like, no matter what you're wearing, this sort of seeps in through, uh, through your body, even. It just chills you uh, through and through. And... After y'all are walking through this for maybe 30 seconds and uh you emerge on the other side one by one you step out of the fog and one of you does not uh, who's it gonna be uh, oh it's bruise it's totally bruise, bruise. definitely bruise it definitely bruise right. it is bruise uh. <laughs> We're smart. Uh, is this just me, or are we short of Goliath? Um, very much so. Yeah. He'll be fine. Um, um, doing these things. I don't think to talk you I... of time. He can't be. He's I not that hard. It's very hard to miss him. They probably, yeah, no, they probably took him. You were just going to be casual about this now? I mean, what can we do right now? Where, where, uh, what can we be about it, Vico? We can't do anything, oh. but the very least we could do is, you know, there are probably some there are All probably we can do right are... now is to stay... And all, we... Nicely. Yeah, all we can do is stay calm and quietly search for him. We don't want to cause a ruckus here. <laughs> well, if, if Spirit, our resources are okay? to believe, believe the authorities here should be reasonable. I mean, are we gonna ask Some... for Bruce? Bruce? I mean, Bruce if... long time said they were. Perhaps, perhaps they have a, a Goliath lost and found. That's hopeful I like thinking. The way you think, Aaron. I like the way you think, Aaron. I think we should just look around the place, because they obviously let us in. Look around the place. 
and find clues to where he could be. By the way, Michael, what does it look like around? So, after y'all step out of the fog, y'all are greeted by a very large gate and walls. Uh, I don't know yet. The like, like said, I think it's been mentioned before that the teal dragonborn, unlike most of the other ones, uh, are not nomadic. They they have a a set place that they live. Uh, and at the gate, there are two uh, teal dragonborn guards, one on each side, uh, with uh, spherical bottles of water uh, strapped at their at their belts and uh, spears in their hands and they're, they're so, kind of looking at you slightly confusedly like more like less of less of like what are you doing here and more of like like what like stop dilly dallying <laughs> come to life uh, <laughs> Pardon me, uh, oh, wacky cast of characters. We're new around here. Have you seen a Goliath? Uh, he just kind of looks at you. Uh, does anyone speak? Does anyone speak Dragonborn? Uh, spirit. Spirit. <laughs> uh. See, I was waiting. I was waiting to comment. Uh. Yeah, I was I was I was raised to speak comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any dragon. Tell us what the language dragon. It's a uh, draconic, actually, David. Yeah. yeah Tell us what draconic. Hey. Draconic. Give us what draconic sounds like, huh? I'm best. Yeah, uh, yeah, oh, sure. Oh. I'll give it to you in a second. <laughs> so let us know what it sounds like. Please, please, it's, please it's tell like... me it's sword guy. Please tell me it's hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's all draconic. <laughs> It's just like slightly I like raspier, thinking, common. I, I like thinking Draconic's a bunch of like tongue hisses and clicks. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> literally, okay. literally, it's just no. It's just gonna be the episode of SpongeBob. It's like I can't <laughs> understand <laughs> your accent, <laughs> and your so accent. you just have to talk like, "Hey, uh, so have you seen the Goliath? Oh, oh yeah, we saw him over there. Okay, thanks." Huh. Colonel. Colonel. <laughs> so, be rich. Yeah. I could uh, use your expertise in this area. Yeah. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Not much of an expert, but I'll give it a try. Uh, okay. Uh, in Draconic, he's gonna go say hello. That's it. Uh, he's black. Uh, shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> no, shoot him. He's not black. Oh, shoot. That man's not black. Not black. Oh, my God. The, one of the guards at the gate just kind of, like, raises an eyebrow. Uh. We don't speak your type of Draconic. <laughs> oh, uh, we, we were, uh, looking for a Goliath friend. You know, we came in here with him, and he's not, he's not, uh, here. Oh. Um. Well, he's probably been taken to the, uh... Blue he's probably been taken to, to a temporary holding area, uh, He'll probably be questioned and let out if he's no issue. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, <laughs> I, God, I please be no this, issue, please. <laughs> that just that just reminds me of of when Spirit resisted the zone of truth and then got brought into the back, and Ben was yeah. just like, "I don't want to be grilled." <laughs> <laughs> oh, we grilled Dragonborn. No, no, like interrogated. <laughs> I know. Like, this is this is no. I don't want to be slaved. Okay. I, then perish. I perish. Um, the te- like, okay, the teal ones don't this... do slavery. I know it's a joke. I pull out something that I've had for a little while. Uh, a while ago, I made a sketch 
of the symbol, like the modified sketch symbol, back when I sold the scimitar. I mm -hmm. I pull it out, I give it to give it to Spear, and I say, ask them if they've seen anything like this. Sure, totally, buddy. Um, <laughs> Spirit's not gonna do that. Uh, hey, uh, could we, you know, be a uh, let in? Uh, sure thing. Go, go right ahead. And he, uh, he like gives a nod to his his coworker, and they they turn around. They they open the gate. Yeah, sorry, Cedril. They uh haven't seen it before. <laughs> 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 Vico, uh, <laughs> dude, this is shit. I should have cast comprehend languages so I can come out on that. Andrew <laughs> <laughs> takes the sketch back and looks really sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Man, I almost feel bad. Ah, uh, don't. Almost. <laughs> so y'all are let into the city. No, no entourage. No, no one coming up to say. Hi, random people that I don't know. Let me interact with you. Uh, what an odd man, I'm really happy that didn't happen. What an odd feeling. Oh, well, this is, this is more or less free time. Uh, oh. To your right, as you enter the city, there is a, a building with various barrels outside, and you can hear uh, raucous laughter coming from within. And to raucous. your uh, to your left, there appears to be some form of shrine. And uh, ahead of you is uh, just what appears to be a large public housing building. And then there are other buildings, often distances, that are either out of your line of sight or too far away to distinguish. I look at Veldrin. You want to go to the blacksmith? Uh, yeah, I want to go to the blacksmith. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go. Veldrin, I'll Nero's be right gonna, back. Nero's going to head towards the Wait, uh, where laughter. Okay, um... <laughs> where, where is every... <laughs> Gonna uh, find information! It's not like Sorry. you need me to talk to the guard or anything. Todd feels she said, to she said she's gonna go find information at the place. Spirit, where would you like to go? Somewhere there's not a lot of people. Michael, where is, where is the closest place that does not have a lot of people? Uh, the place immediately to your left that appears to be some form of shrine that has like very few people there, and the few people that are there not talking. Like, can we can we tell that it's a shrine? Probably. <laughs> you know, Bicepus and we don't have a lot of people. So. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to get I'm gonna have to get to uh, Velger and Vika going to the blacksmith last because they yeah. that's well, that's well, a whole well, level of crazy right there. Well, that, that's fine. Uh, Spirit, would you like to go to the shrine? It doesn't look very populated. Oh. Uh, sure. I'd love to accompany you. Oh, great. <laughs> and in and Spirit's uh, head, it's just like, oh, I'm surrounded by my two favorite people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bet you wish oh, you were going yeah. with Veldrin and Vico <laughs> and a hand shift. Happy, v the Happy only Vico and not the press Veldrin. Going on a date, yeah. Okay, so uh, you walk in, you take a hard left, uh, and you see a a single floor building. It's very very small. Uh, you walk in, and there are a few uh, sort of like makeshift pews lined up on either side, um, and it's weirdly like you're in a desert uh in here it's like weirdly overgrown hmm interesting Do we can i anything? can i get any clues as to what deity this is a shrine to that is your clue that is my clue <laughs> uh, <laughs> the do i god do i i'm the basically god i'm asking do i do i have a Call list shamrosh do I have a list of gods, and can I? Can I? Can you do have you have a list of gods on you that you got last episode that caused quite the ruckus. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm gonna look in. I'm gonna look in the book of gods for anything about plants. Okay. Uh, this is most likely a shrine to the god Ild. Uh, he is 
the dais of nature and uh and of creation it's it's sort of this weird overlap with soul uh soul gives life to the world and uh ild shapes that life into the, all of the things around so he is in a sense like uh the nature god uh is shamrosh with us uh, uh he i don't know who who he would go with i mean cuz he was just he would go with me yeah he pro he probably would be following Todriel. Book? <laughs> what? <laughs> Eli, what? Eli just showed up and then just yeah. left. Uh, wait, was that Eli? No, it was Eli. <laughs> <laughs> it also just occurred to me, nobody, like, none of us even attempted to go find, like, the detention center. Well, they said they let him out, so, like, I know, wait, so that point, like, okay. <laughs> Don't don't worry about it. As long as Bruce is in prison, I don't have to worry about what he's doing. Okay, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Michael, you racist. Bruce isn't here. <laughs> Bruce, well, when I get when well, we talk it, to Bruce again, I'll have to t I'll have to see what we can do with that with that ill symbol here. Be of some use. Maybe they'd like it. What do you think, Aaron? I'm thinking Shamash would quite like to visit the shrine. Is uh, I don't know, servant of ill. At the very least, he has him in high regard. I could tell that. He was the only one of you that joined my prayer group. <laughs> <laughs> you never asked me to join a prayer group. I, I don't. I Did you? Uh, what's I, that? I mean, I likely one wouldn't I have joined anyway. Like walk around and ask. I think he did ask Aaron, and Aaron just kind of disregarded it immediately. I think Aaron went with him and like took notes while he did. Like, is that what happened? I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Honestly. I don't know. Uh, that was a couple sessions back, probably. What's the prayer is it, like, is the writing here written in like celestial or draconic? Do you like, know what it prayer is? Like, spirit. Uh, yeah, Bruce explained to me, and it sounds like something for sane people. I do believe you and you and Vico agree on that point. <laughs> yeah. Anti orb uh, <laughs> Essentially prayer is <laughs> It's a message from you to one of the gods. And they exactly what was that? What are what are the gods? Guys have been throwing that word around a lot. Ah, uh, no man, you can are... watch this. Movie. It's history. It's Aaron's entering teacher mode. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> prepare for a twenty-hour lecture. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Well, you, you forget this professor doesn't sleep. <laughs> is there an altar? Like, like where? I, uh, is there like I a gotta, I gotta, I gotta teach spirit what gods are. Oh, okay. you, can, you can go pray while while you do that. No, I just wanted to leave some gold on the altar. Yeah, well, there there isn't a specific altar. It's more of this place is like a place to. Be still, be quiet, and be and be uh, surrounded with nature. Uh, it has clearly been blessed in some fashion by Ild because none of the things that are growing here should be living. <laughs> Tadru just like kneels down, gets down, gets to one of the pews, and starts praying in celestial. Um. Anyway, back to explaining to spirit what gods are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, s essentially, spirit, the gods are uh, rulers of this reality. They are the highest form of power. 
Uh, each of them has a specific domain uh, over which they have dominion. Uh, for example, we are in a shrine to a god named Ild. He holds dominion over plant life, creation, nature. Uh, and gods are generally fueled by... They, gain, they get their power from, that is, uh, their worshippers and uh, those who reverence their name and serve them. That, or, uh, is that magical? Uh, you... Is it? I mean, would it technically be magical, Michael? Yeah. I feel like Aaron would, upon hearing that sort of thing from Ronan, and be like, it, that is the, more or less the source of magic. Right. Is that what Aaron says? Yeah. That is, <laughs> that is what I think. Oh, okay. So, all of the magic you can do uh, explained on a practical level by, uh, by manipulation of Thaum, the fundamental particles of magic, is on a higher level empowered by one of the gods' domains. Oh, okay. I think I'll just take a step outside real quick. <laughs> oh no. Why do I really not like where this is going? <laughs> Ion Spirit, just to make sure he doesn't like... Arson. I'm gonna burn, burn the church down. Yeah, arson. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay. <laughs> God, okay, so... Call me Arson. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, he's so powerful. Okay, so... Like, so, he steps out. The temple. He just um... Uh, <laughs> uh... So, he steps out. Uh... What are Nero and just me? Who, wait, who's Nero and Neth? Is it just Nero? No, that's just me. I don't okay. know. Where where's she going? Uh, she went to the um where all the people were laughing. But I guess she, I, I I'm assuming it's some sort of bar or something. Yeah, she she walks in and it is uh. To sum it up, it's a tavern. It's it, there's tables. There's a bar with a bartender. Uh, yeah, is this sort of burly dragonborn? Uh, he's yeah, stere- she- he's very stereotypically polishing a, a cup. Um, <laughs> she walks up to the bar. Um, she eyes everyone in the room. Is anyone noticeable? Uh. No, no one in particular at this time of day. In the summer day, all right. She goes up to the bar, um, uh, and asks the bartender, "Have any good to drink?" Uh, he says, "In common, uh, I have a few things." Uh. <laughs> Damn it, Tyler! <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I didn't lose again. Uh, let's just uh, let's just continue. <laughs> I as, I, as I was saying, I mute myself while I enjoy this. As I was saying, he, he says, uh, <laughs> "Depends on what you're remedying." What's your hardest liquor? <laughs> uh oh. Yikes! Yikes! Oh, I've got alcohol. God. Solar death. 
so no. low death. <laughs> no, not, not so low death. No. He says, uh, hey, likely no. something I couldn't give you in good conscience. Hmm. Maybe another time then. Uh, just, um. Give me. Something hard, but not. Uh, give me your second, uh, hardest then. Okay. And, um. See, I don't. I. I don't understand alcohol. Tyler, what does he give her? <laughs> what does he give her? Um, okay. Yeah, what's the hardest? That's the left side. Someone gives her a white claw. No, no, no. Something, something strong. Hey, it does it for it's Tyler. Probably, it's probably... I don't no, it does it for Balda. It does it for Walker. I don't know it's, what you're on about. It's probably, it's probably a... Either a vodka mix or just their oh. hardest... That is or like their hardest sure. scotch or something. It's, it's one of those two things. You really hard scotch, you've got a vodka true, mix. Bro. Vodka mix sounds true, bro. What, whatever it is that he brings Nero to ease the pain, uh, that he he mixes it, uh, brings it over, sort of like like <laughs> you like. So you know how like in. Like when you see like an animation of involving like a dragon and they like sort of like exhale from their nose just like a little bit of flame as like it like a, in an exasperated sigh. He basically does that but to chill it. Uh <laughs> cause, <laughs> cause ice. ice dragon. Ice dragon. Uh, and then and then he and then he, he gives it to you. <laughs> Alright, I down it at one go. It, you die. It, oh. He... He sort of... Okay, roll constitution. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> we do not condone rampant uh, alcoholism here on this channel. Okay. Oh, 100% we do. Kill yourself with alcohol, please. He was, a, he was, he was about to give you, he was about to give oh, you a yeah. price, and you cut him off to, dr to just slam it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So you oh. down it. Passes out. No. Uh, you down it. Uh, mm -hmm. You you are uh, definitely past buzz. You are you are you are drunk at this point. Uh, like Tyler in a couple of Celsius. <laughs> yeah, and um, and uh, he just like stares at you for a second. And he 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 holds up five fingers and he says, "How many fingers am I holding up?" Seventy-four. Uh, shit. Um, <laughs> eleven. Teen. I got job. Mm. 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 She just like she just puts down like ten gold. <laughs> that, mm. that does that cover mm, that that that'll cover <laughs> that one and more. Uh, give me another one. Give me another one. Give me a drink, bartender. Give me a drink, bartender. He he just like shrugs his shoulders, mixes you another one, and gives it to you. You're responsible. <sighs> Have you heard of? Oh, shit. Have you heard any of? Uh... I think he is drunk. Have you? Is there anything going on in this town? Downs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's nothing currently going on. Oh, give me um, another one. Um, although, oh my god. <laughs> Jesus, <dude. laughs> Holy shit. I hope you didn't like having a body. Mm. The, or other liver than. Doe is just like, oh my god, I made a mistake. <laughs> Oh, I should have yeah, gone with Tadriel. <laughs> Even Vico's better. Doe is going to get drunk. I'm gonna drink, Nero's going to drink so much alcohol, Doe's going to get drunk. Dude, Doe oh, do gets turned. He he starts mixing a third one as as he as he talks, and he says, um, there's nothing currently going on aside from the, the 
tournament coming up, but Turn do we have any major issues? What? Oh shit! Uh, tournament. Uh, hmm, that's interesting. Another one. Another one. Uh, he, he just, yeah, and he 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 slides <laughs> you with the third one. Uh, I've been having Neuro. the worst day. I swear. Downs. I can <laughs> see that. Uh, look, and for the sake of your own safety, I cannot give you any more. <laughs> Dude. Uh, uh, <laughs> Nero, give me Nero, give me a dexterity saving throw. No. Dexterity? <laughs> not concentration. Uh, David, David, you did this to yourself. You've done You're the one who down. David! Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. You are fun that yourself. Nero Nero like Nero like almost falls out of her chair, but she like catches herself. Oh, uh, uh, you may be a, a little bit right. Just one more, just one more, uh, and I'll, I'll be done. I just really roll, roll persuasion. Fuck yeah, dude! <laughs> oh, fifteen. <laughs> I'm rolling fifteen. Damn. It is. Uh, just one more, uh, and. Well, I'll be out of here. Okay. One yeah, you... more. Yes. He, uh, more. he he mi he mixes you a fourth, chills it, and then uh, slides it over to you. And basically, just he at this point he's just expectantly watching, waiting for you to down it and pass out. <laughs> she <laughs> grabs it like this. and downs it, <laughs> slams it on the t table on the mm. bar. And then promptly passes out. Woo! <laughs> Bang. <laughs> what did you expect? Okay. It's time for the adventures of Veldrin and Vico now. Yeah, time for the yeah. adventures of Veldrin and Vico. Neither of you speak Draconic, and you have no idea which building is the forge. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Let's go pray. Let's so, find uh, out. Y'all zoom off. Where do y'all zoom off to? Well, zoom, zoom, gentlemen. Okay, so we so can, first we can all, immediately roll out this building. This building and this building. <laughs> I think, I think our best bet is the building here, because that one. If I'm, if it's a forge in use, will how it's probably if it is a forge in. Actually, we'll know because of a lot of smoke, because there should be a lot of smoke coming out from it. But either way, it's also the one that looks most like one. Yeah. So, so well, let me put it this way. So y'all came in like at this intersection and you would have seen this like in the distance and if y'all went to that first, you would have approached it. You wouldn't have had to get terribly far away to see that it is a stable. Damn. Uh for Drake's. And uh as you head further this way, there's another big sort of what looks like public housing building. There's a slightly fancier building here, and then this place is uh hella fancy. Uh, like columns yeah. and very, very, very fancy place. Uh, down here is a tiny, tiny, tiny little like shack almost. It's like not even a shack. It's like a a, a tent of sorts. Um, and then over here is another uh, just sort of. This building is kind of run down and like slightly indistinguishable. And then this over here has a lot of stuff put out in front of it. Mm -hmm. As y'all are just kind of like running through. Which one do you think, Belgian? Which one do you think? Um, um, Michael, what did you say about this one? It's got a lot of stuff put out in front of it. Like what? Just can't uh, tell. You can't can't tell from just running through the town. Okay. Um. Um. Far, uh, no, no more fake voice. Um, far back, far back. Far back. All right, let's go. Okay. Um, as y'all approach, uh, <laughs> you see there is uh, this, uh, <laughs> there's this like short, thin dragonborn running around, uh, this place sort of organizing stuff, uh, putting things away. 
Uh, this is clearly sort of like a, a general needs stop. Uh, he's got like rations out. He's got these like circular glass bottles, uh, weapons, armor, uh, rope, general general necessities. Uh, there's also a sign, like a chalk sign, up on the side. It's sort of like it's sort of like a building connected to a pop up shop. Uh, and on like the wall in the back, there's a, a chalk sign that says like "Dragon's Breath in a Bottle, fifty gold." Uh, and then but there's... does it say it in common though? <laughs> uh, it says it in multiple languages. Common is one of them. Uh, and then, uh, similarly to that, there is a chest in the corner that says "Specialties." Ask the uh, ask the shopkeep, and all the way like. Like through a door in the back, you can see there's a, a crate full of like weirdly tipped arrows. You can't really tell exactly what they are. What you thinking about that mm. one? <clears throat> might might be worth a look, actually. He starts looking. It's but... yeah. Uh. uh <laughs> silent so so y'all just like walk up basically just walk up and either start snooping or talk to the guy first probably Veljin's gonna start snooping Vika's gonna attempt to talk to the guy here stopping he speaks common uh so like what what is Vico saying to him or is he just walking up and waiting for the guy to talk to him try to talk to him first uh Vico's gonna you know try and start um Hello, do you speak common? Oh, yes, yes, sir. I, many of uh, the, many of us are trained with other languages because we have passive buy through. Uh, you know, if we want to make money, we have to know how to interact with our yeah. customers. That is imperative. Oh, welcome. Uh, May I ask what it is that you you maybe uh, are passing through for? Um, passing through the city for, or just passing through your your shop? Uh, I don't know, they both never hurt. Ah, well, um, we are currently looking for someone. My my friends and I are currently looking for someone out in the in the desert, and um, we are attempting to stick as close to. The, uh, the civilized areas of the desert as we possibly can. Um, and as for why I'm here, um, I'm Ooh. actually looking to get some armor. Oh, yes, I, I do stock that. Uh, may I ask what it is exactly you are looking for? Um, just, uh, you know, uh, something light, something to protect my, my chest. Um, I have been finding that, uh, I've been getting hit far too easily when my friends and I have to fight. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Right, right this way. And he uh, he leads you over to uh, sort of like a, a group of what are essentially hay mannequins. Uh, <laughs> um, and he says, eh, there's very... Like, Various different things. I think one of them is wearing like plate armor, and then there's another one with leather, and then there's another one that has uh, leather with sort of this like uh, like golden studs in it, and like gold filigree connecting them. Uh, and he says, uh, "Can I can I offer you uh, any of my my fine selection of of armors?" Uh, the if you're looking for something on the lighter side, may I suggest, uh, the, and he, he like, sort of, he, he is like ushering you to the, the one that's got all the filigree on it. <laughs> uh, Veldrin, Veldrin follows them over to the armor and starts ex inspecting it when he sees them go over there like that. Oh, uh, yes, this is my friend, uh, Veldrin. He himself is a blacksmith. Oh, um, yes, I... It is a pleasure to meet you. Um, are you are you here shopping for anything as well? Um, more so just accompanying my friend. Uh, mainly just 
looking, wanting to see what everything, how everything's made. Just interest more than anything. Ah, yes, I I make many of uh, my own uh, stock. Uh, I have a, a small forge in the back, so I can't exactly mass produce things, but I can I can make the occasional weapon. Um, and, and well, Jen, you're you're sort of like inspecting this equipment, and it's like clearly metalworking isn't like his like primary skill, isn't his <laughs> but it is out. a it. Uh, it is it is of good make and consider it like like it, it's it's like it's average and the leather work is average but it's like he's if what he's saying is true then it makes sense that like everything in this shop is kind of average because he does all of it he's a, he's <laughs> he, a jack he he's he's a jack yeah he's jacked <laughs> no so... <laughs> Veldrin and Mar- hours. Veldrin keeping a little confidence in what he says looks at the armor and he's like this is in his head he's like this is pretty good for being average <laughs> <laughs> wait wait <laughs> he's saying that in his head what is he saying out loud nothing he's just in spa, he's inspecting it oh, he's, inspecting okay. it. he's like he's figuring out like okay this oh, guy is average I'll give, I'll give you this he, uh, it is well it may not be the the best like metal working it is like it is pretty yeah to look at <laughs> that's probably what he would be commenting seems to seems like this is good for average damn he he really made this shit shine <laughs> <laughs> damn this shit shining <laughs> shine <it>. no <laughs> no Anna. shiny like a melody in my head no shut <laughs> oh, shut Shiny is like a oh. melody that's in my head. No, 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 no. Uh, Veldrin, Veldrin, <sighs> after his inspection, kind of leaned back, like leans back, and just go, that the nice looking pieces of equipment here. I think you've got a good selection here, Vico. Thank you. Um, Veldrin, what would you recommend, uh, to, like, as Something to protect me, but also keep me mobile. Yeah, what were the choices of the armor he had? <laughs> he he has. Let's see. He's got he's got leather armor. He's got studded leather armor. He's got chain mail. He's got plate mail. He's got uh, yeah, basically all of them are there. <laughs> not mold not all, all all of the basics are there. All the basics, yeah. Um, he doesn't have like splint armor or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking full on, just. Um, Veldrin kind of looks at. What does Vico have? Nothing. Well, what? Yeah, does Vico, Vico, Vico have, have like, no armor. Like, yeah, Vico, no armor. Vico literally just wears leather. So he's got leather armor, or is it just like leather? It's clothes? It's, it's leather in armor. Theory. It's leather armor. Okay. Like in theory. In, in theory. <laughs> in theory. Um, well, if you want to go for something a little, a little lighter, something a little lighter, you could maybe, if you want something very light that can help, that will help maybe a little better than what you have now, I'd say studded leather. Good. It's what I'm wearing. Veldrin slaps his chest and his armor expands out just as a show off. Uh, <laughs> just to show off. <laughs> <laughs> Just to show off. <laughs> the guy's just, just kind of awestruck. Like, <laughs> that's <laughs> incredibly impressive. How, how have you managed to do this? Uh, lots of complex magic that I don't know. I, you know, I know the magic, but at the same time, I don't know the magic. You ever feel that way? Um, yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, he slaps the armor again, it retracts. You want you want something a little stronger that is still very light? I'd go stud it, leather. Um, you might be able to step up to something of like a scale mail if you want, like maybe just a little bit heavier, but with a lot more, with a way higher armor than what you have now. 
it really depends on how much mobility you're willing to sacrifice for extra extra protection. I think um, as, as as a transitional um, as a transitional kind of piece, I think the the leather stud would probably be best for me, as I'm not used to carrying around armor heavier than leather. So as kind of a transition, I need to get used to some. Have, uh, some some more weight. So hmm. my uh, my good sir, how much are you charging for that uh, beautiful piece? Any points to the studded leather? Uh, the uh, the studded leather, my my standard price that I sell it for is about forty gold. Uh, it's it's kind of rough trying to get you know metals out here, so. Wow, that's reasonable. That is that's reasonable. fairly, that's um, fairly reasonable. Yeah. Vico only has thirty gold, so um, let's see. Ooh, Vico still has his his old sword that he never uses. Uh, he is going to sell that. <laughs> so wait, is he just like in the middle of <laughs> like in the can't... middle of this transaction? Just gonna be like, oh, can I sell you this as well? By the way, uh, well, no, no, so. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna look into like whatever coin purse he has, uh, and just um I only appear to have thirty gold pieces on me. However, I do have a few items that I'm willing to sell to pay off the rest. If you're willing to go through with that kind of transaction. Uh, yes. May I? May I at least see what it is that you're offering? Of course. Uh, and I pull out uh the old short sword for him. Mm. And I hand it to him. He, he looks it up and down and he's like, ooh, this thing is very, very worn. Um, I only used it like once. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, used it once in the can't... campaign, but he already would... had it. Yeah, yeah, I would he already had it for that a long true. time. That is true. <laughs> he, he's... No, no, fair point. <laughs> <laughs> Not <laughs> while the guy's holding it. <laughs> I know. He's just and like holding it, by the it. He's just like just running his finger along the blade. He's like, it's very dull. Just ah! <laughs> <laughs> he starts like it's. It seems very dull, and he notices Veldrin singer his. Own. It's like fixing. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, it's fairly right. Um, um, tell you what, roll persuasion. Uh, roll persuasion. Nation. That is a four. Uh, he thinks about it. He says, "Uh, you know what? How about this?" You give me the short sword and your 30 gold, and you, points at Veldrin, teach me how to do that, that armor thing, and you can have it. Oh god. <laughs> 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 um, but before we, before we make that deal, do, do you have any experience with using magic? I do. I have a few basics with enchantments and... Various things. I dabble. Perfectly fine enough. I I will take it. I can I can work with that. I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> you have yourself a deal. I was just doing business uh. with you, sir. Thank you. Okay. May I ask how long you're going to be in town? Right done. Um, honestly. However, however long it takes us to find our friend, and yeah. maybe a few answers if we're looking for some. Oh. I, I look forward to seeing you around. You as well. 
we just leave like instantly? <laughs> Dude. Velder he's never teaches like, him. Yeah, no, he's <laughs> yeah. like, well, you can come back to the forge and teach me tomorrow. And then he's just like, where is he? And we're like halfway across the he's desert. Gonna, he's gonna pull a bruise and just ghost him and have sex with someone. <laughs> Veldrin without Bianca? Nah, no, 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 no. no not no, happening, no, dude. Not crazy. gonna happen, bro. Well, I mean, who, who said that someone isn't Bianca? Come on. <laughs> Veldrin just makes role play. <laughs> no, no, we're in like the guest housing and like we're all just like asleep, and all of a sudden we just hear like well, we all. Well, yeah, for there, those of us who do sleep. Well, for those of us who do sleep, all of a sudden you hear Veldrin just go like. Oh yeah, Bianca, and it's like, what? what's going on? And then we walk in, and he's going... just like, he's just like holding himself. It's like, oh yeah, he's got, he's got a Bianca body pillow. He's, he's... No, <laughs> oh, that's man, why he's so... been training himself as a. That's why he's been training oh. himself as an artificer, so he what can make a, he can make a life that's why he's... body pillow. That's why he's. <laughs> That's why he stole all the soldiers' pillowcases. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh no! no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I still have them. Oh no! It all makes sense I'm... now. <laughs> oh no! I still have those. I still have those. No! <laughs> I should toss out the fucking pillowcases. <laughs> I could have made that into a bag of holding. <laughs> Well, you can always make it into a. You can always make it into water skins, pal. Very I thin water skins, have... but water skins nonetheless. I don't Max. have them written down. That's why I didn't remember. Uh, I don't have them written down because I didn't. Take notes, Tyler. I do take notes, but I didn't think. I didn't think fucking pillowcases were actually important later. You, oh, you, you take them. Always take, take them always take so notes that you could you make take, them into. Right? A, you yes. you took them for the exclusive purpose of turning them into bags of holding. And then that idea went This up is a very room. interesting conversation. <laughs> yeah, you want to know why? I want to make them back. I want to hear more. So I, could do the, so I could do the funny thing and make two and put one inside the other and then cause a black hole. I wanted to do the funny thing. And then I realized, wait, Belgian wouldn't know that the funny thing can happen. So I gave up on the idea of bags of holding and forgot I had them. God. All right. <sighs> so y'all return. Gonna, so where, where do you. <laughs> Probably like literally like fifteen or twenty. <laughs> You're right, probably. Because oh it, it's it was an entire regiment. Like yeah, I'm girl, I'm it putting, was. It was the entire I'm like garrison. I'm putting he took all of them. I took all of them. You took like all the pillowcases out of that garrison. You took one from underneath a guy's head while he was talking to you. <laughs> yeah. I did that. Yeah. And you yeah. and you you, you explained it. You explain. You explain it by saying dry cleaning, and then slowly <laughs> walked out right. the door. Oh my <laughs> God. I, I went back no and watched it. Awful human being. Dude, dude. I do. I, go I back do and remember this. And it, it yes, it hurts, dude. Beautiful. <laughs> I want to feel myself. <laughs> <It's perfect. laughs> oh God! All right, so. Where do y'all go? So, like... <laughs> I'm sorry, Veljan immediately walks out of the stop and looks at Veljan and goes, Why the fuck did I make that deal? <laughs> the Adventures of Veljan so, and Vico. You are helping a friend, friend? What? what? Uh, can I just give you the money? <laughs> Veljan keeps walking. Yeah. I, I hand him the money, and he already has the sword. Um... Uh, what was your name, sir? Oh, the the shopkeep. Yeah. Uh, he says, "Uh, oh, my name, my name is uh Primpia. Uh, I Pimpia. I keep this place running. Well, uh, you do a very good job of it. Very nice. To Thank you. Um." um. I was, I was, so when I was saying like, oh, where are y'all going? I was more saying like, so y'all don't know where everyone else is. So like, what nope. what do Veldred and Vico do after? I guess we'll go look for Bruce. I guess we'll go look for the detention center. Uh, yeah, Veldred's Vel Vel probably just. Um, yeah, we can't make Michael do stuff. No, no, no I'm not uh, making Michael do stuff. I just, you know, I want Bruce to note that we were there for him in his mm -hmm. hard moment. God. 
Okay, so they'll, they'll at this point is probably just like, do you think anyone else went, for, went to find Bruce? Yeah, me neither. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I think the okay, only one that so... might have gone was might have been Spirit. <laughs> yikes! 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 So y'all are y'all are wandering around, and uh, is y'all looking for her? Eh, for her? For for wait, it? Uh, for her. Transitioning? What? Uh, no. Uh, eventually. Uh, y'all, as y'all are wandering around, you <laughs> probably around like you know the this sort of square. Uh, the, this this burly dragonborn uh, approaches you, and he says, "In common, he says, um, uh, do y'all happen to have been traveling with uh the that uh, blonde-haired woman?" Um, oh no! <sighs> yeah. Thanks. Uh, 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 Vico, Veldra's doing this in character. Uh, <laughs> uh, we, we, were, we were traveling with a blonde haired woman. Why is there trouble? Uh, this isn't trouble, so to say. I just I just think you should probably come check on her. I put her up in a frame in the cab, and she's. Uh, oh, he gets into To my last knot. To my. Last knowledge, uh, she's unconscious. Uh, she 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 drank herself under the table. <sighs> Damn idiot! <laughs> Veldrin, uh, you can come along if you want, or you can continue on trying to find Bruce. I'm gonna go tend to Narrow. <sighs> Lead the way. Veldrin like tries. Vel Veldrin, he's got no way of finding. Bruce, so he just follows. Okay. okay. So, um, uh, Tadril, Aaron, Spirit, what are y'all, what are y'all doing? I think it's about time we got to searching for Bruce, don't you think? <laughs> Be fine. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Let's do it. I, I, I still gotta get that little relic from him. I think I'm gonna give it to this temple. Yeah. So, y'all step out of Y'all step outside of the, the sort of shrine, and uh, as y'all step out, y'all would probably be seeing this take place, like this the, this burly dragonborn uh, talking to uh, Vico and and Veldrin, and then uh, him like leading them off, and then leads them into this building. Uh, Vico looks concerned. I no, Vico. Vico doesn't look concerned. Vico looks like he. Vico looks kind of frustrated. <laughs> oh shit! Spirits uh, like other people. I gotta get out of here. I better not. I gotta get out of here. Oh fuck! Has Nero been drinking again? Uh, gotta go. I'm sorry. This is my duty. You have gotta... no context for that. <laughs> He has no contact with that. Well, he could. I think well, we I, he's an alcoholic. She's an alcoholic. He could see that it's yeah, obvious. You guys don't know I'm a alcoholic. We already Dude. knew she was an alcoholic. No, 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 no. She no, liked alcohol. She, she wasn't an alcoholic. She, exactly. She's. Oh, she she just socially. recently started drinking. She drinks like oh. socially. <laughs> yeah. Mm, sure. Let's go follow Vico. Let's follow little Vico. Come on, let's go. No, uh, we can split up here. Uh, Tadriel, you tend to whatever they're doing. Okay, uh, what, what are you doing? We really should focus our efforts on finding brews. At least a few of us. Uh, do Try you know... <laughs> do you know if the people here speak Draconic? Or, like, solely Draconic? Do they speak common is what I'm asking. Who are you Do asking? You know? <laughs> oh. Both of you. Uh, I'm yeah, not. Listen, I've just been kind of praying in Celestial back there, and I don't think any of them speak that. Maybe there's a priest we could find. But anyway, I don't... I well, like The only ones we've run into so far speak Draconic, but I don't think it's that far of a stretch to say one of them speaks common. I've never seen a Teal Dragonborn before. Well, you were able to communicate with those, so Spirit... Uh, I I would very much appreciate it if you could come along as both uh, an ally and a translator. 
Yo, allies come along as a translator. Yeah, allies pushing it, buddy. I didn't say friend, I said ally. Yeah, yeah, that's pushing it, buddy. Pushing it, buddy. <laughs> that's unfortunate. <laughs> um, people who, work, people who work in proxy together. That's yeah, pushing it, buddy. I guess. I, mm, yeah. Associates. <laughs> Uh, we who are people know who each know each other exist, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you know Draconic, and I don't know that people here know common, so... Let's go. We're oh, off yeah. to see the wizard. <laughs> Aaron's spirit it's adventure. Not, it's not, it's not a, a common thing to know common, it's more of just the, the people who run businesses tend to know common because they have passers through, so they want the money. <laughs> Man. So like the shop, damn capitalists. <laughs> uh, no, David. Yes. No. <laughs> that is that is vile. <laughs> That's so cursed. Wait, what? The Go fuck check is wrong with you, David? Check it. That is vile. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done for the night, guys. I'm, I'm going to bed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So. So everyone can see this shit. Everyone has to see this. Continue on, Michael. So. So does spirit, does spirit decide to go with Aaron? Spirit will decide to go find Bruise. Along. Hey. In parallel. It just so happens that Aaron is following him. Yeah. Okay. Isn't this absolutely vile? All right. Well. <laughs> all right. So y'all, y'all wander off, and this is going to be hilarious. So okay, uh, Tadril, do you then head into the tavern? Uh, the tavern. The gonna, was following the people. rowdy building across the street that Vico and and uh, Veldrin are going into. Okay. Yeah. I I follow them. Uh, so you walk in. Uh, this it's it smells like alcohol and bodies. Uh, by the time Tadril gets in there, uh, he's not actually sure where. Like by the time Tadril gets in there, um, like how tall are the, how tall is a typical patron here? I mean, they're dragonborn, so like, yeah, six foot five. Yeah, we've established that spirit's small for a dragonborn. Oh, so. well, well taller than Vico and Veldrin. <laughs> yeah, because because and narrow. Because spirit's mm -hmm. a couple inches. Because spirit days. is baby. <laughs> spirit is not even. He's he's, he's, he's also baby. he's also just short. He's also just short. Yeah, <laughs> he's a little baby. He's uh, almost an adult. But, yeah. So. Nero, uh, I'm gonna say you, uh, you wake up. There is uh, a cold rag on your forehead. Uh, you've got a one hell of a headache. Uh, <laughs> you still are, you're you're still buzzed at this point. Uh, current. The current person who's sort of like taking care of you is uh, this tall uh, female dragonborn. Uh, she's got a, a she's got a like a, a thin, very very long thin snout. She's got like frosted blue eyes, uh, and she's wearing like a, a white cloak. And she's like currently giving you a cold compress uh, on your forehead. Um. How long have it? Oh. oh, not too terribly long. Uh, <laughs> honestly, I'm surprised you uh, you recover rather quickly. Yeah, uh, I guess that's just the tolerance I built. 
she slowly gets up. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. You should probably not really get up right now. I, I, I think I have to. Uh, am I still in the tavern? Yes, uh, uh Mira, you, you, like, sort of, at this point, look around, try to take, take in your surroundings. Oh, uh, I got my, I got my flash. Oh, God. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're in, uh, like, a medium-sized room. There's, uh, two beds in here. Uh, it's you, uh, this, this woman... Uh, and then on the bed next to you, which is why I said this is going to be hilarious, is, uh, is unconscious bruise. Bruh. Um, what the bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I look over and I just, she Some just bear. freezes. Uh, um, what the? Uh, separate it, bed, not, <laughs> oh, okay. not no, in the no, bed no, next no, to you. No, 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 no. He's, he's in the Who same bed. I don't care what you're talking about. He's, he's in no. the same bed. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I hate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, told, I told you this is gonna be. I told you. I told you this is gonna be hilarious. Uh, so, Why is he here? He lost. Why is he here? He lost. Uh, is he not your friend? He got lost. He, he, he Dude, is, I don't. I don't know. I didn't know Fimbo Dragonborn were British guys. Uh, was he? Wasn't he detained? But the, they let him go that yeah. quickly. Yes, I did. Wait, it, wait. She stops. <laughs> oh, shit. That was, am I detained? No, I'm... <laughs> uh, you, you, right, passed I, out, I, you passed out drunk on the floor. Did you want to just get trampled? Uh, no. Thank you. <sighs> Thought, okay, so it wasn't a blackout. Thank God. Thank you. <sighs> it's, okay. probably, it's probably around this point that uh, the the barkeep uh, <laughs> walks in with um, Vico and Veldrin. Oh, and Vico shit. just stops in the doorway once he sees Bruise. Like, <laughs> found him. <laughs> One of two things. One. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, not even one of two things. Both things. Nero, what the fuck? What? <laughs> and if, is a girl not allowed to drink? No, you are, but not to the point of passing out. And two, why is Bruise in here with you? First, I can drink. How? Uh, how much? I uh, I can drink. However much I want. Two. I have no clue, actually. Why is he here? Uh, <laughs> she, she, yeah, she turns. She turns to um the dragon more. Belgian standing behind Vico with the stereotypical dad look of like standing there with his arms crossed and like <laughs> his eyebrow. Did you just bang your? Did you just come inside your stepsister? Stop! Oh, no. Chuck, no, 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 no. Just oh, whoa! 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 You, you uh, gotta play. Uh, didn't need to go. They're just kids. What did you do with the sister with your sister in the basement? Stop. 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 Honor thy mother. No. <laughs> um, you guys are worse. A, she says <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I've destroyed Garrison. I'm glad we've she all says, collectively destroyed Garrison. Sorry, Gary. Well, <laughs> she she says, Well, I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to give him back, considering that I figured you would uh, that might be more of you uh, that would come to make sure she was okay after <sighs> Wait, I already forgot his fucking name uh, <laughs> uh, after I sent Druknos out to gather you <laughs> badass name who? Uh, she she was ref she like when she said that she gestured to the barkeep That's your name. Hey, uh, he how tips, many gold did I give you? non existent hat. How many gold did I give you? Tips for door. <laughs> you gave me. He tosses two back at you. You gave me ten, it was two per drink. 
Oh, man. Tossing the gold yeah. back, but I have another one. No, no, no. I'm, I'm putting a, I'm putting a moratorium on this uh, right now. What? God. Oh, fine, whatever. Uh, there, well, you can, you can we found them. As much as you want, you just have to do it responsibly. No, I was responsible. Uh, I just didn't think I would pass out on the last one. Um, Belgium, Belgium um, looks over at the book and she's good. Um, exactly what did she have that she was too gold for? <laughs> uh, it wasn't the strongest thing we had, but it was close. <clears throat> so, Bruce is chill, right? Yeah, he... <clears throat> the, the woman says to you, uh, yeah, he's... Pretty much fine. Uh, he, the only reason we had for any concern is we had seen him before. He, I don't think he really knew. So, it's okay though. Uh, I simply just wanted to give you your friend back. Oh, thank you. Uh, and also make sure that a person visiting my city doesn't pass out in and die from alcohol overdose in the first 30 minutes of entering it well i wasn't gonna die but i did pass out so you are right in that regard thank you uh all right i think we can uh Going? Uh, who, who is with us? Uh, uh, Tadrio, I see you. Yes, that's you. Tadrio's not in the Tadrio's room. Tadrio's not in the room. Tadrio's not in the room, that's right. Oh, man, that's how drunk she is. God damn. <laughs> I was... Is he not with you? Oh, no, shit, that's not. someone else. <laughs> oh, um, uh, you guys are... Uh, you guys are... Who's Tadrio? She's I don't... Just... So. I don't think you guys can... Pick Bruce up, actually. Ah, uh, fuck. Uh -huh. Well, I guess I'll try. She gets up and then she, like, stumbles. Oh, shit. Nope, not trying. Falls back uh, down. I go to pick her up. Hey, nope, nope, uh -huh. nope. I can... Nope, well, I can walk, but someone needs to pick Bruce up. The... Uh... Drucknos, uh, <laughs> still has the two gold in his hand that Nero threw back, and he says, How about this? I'll keep this, and mm -hmm. y'all can have a couple rooms. Y'all just, I think, more than anything, need time. Probably. Uh, I think time would be good for all of us here. And then she just, <laughs> and then she just rolls, uh, falls back on the bed and passes out. <laughs> I, I walk over to him, and and to the uh, the the lady. Uh, thank mm. you for taking good care of her. She's she's had it rough the last couple of days, but um, and quite frankly, the last last couple of weeks. Um, I'd be surprised if you told me otherwise. <laughs> she was practically begging for me to give her more alcohol. Yikes. We're gonna have a talk about this. Um. Anyways, uh, I'd, I'd like to, to thank you uh, once more. Of course. I value the lives of my patrons. And the woman says, and you better value the lives of our visitors. Or. Uh, visitors isn't the right word. Wait, what is what is the guests. word that guests. I'm freaking thinking of? No, no, it's not guests. It's uh, combatants of war. Uh, Band of brothers. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Louisiana is like number one source of income. Tourists. Saints? Tourists. Slaves. Tourists. That's it. That's the word. <laughs> I'm sorry. Slaves? <laughs> not anymore. Not anymore. I said, wait. 
Wait. <laughs> That's New Orleans, Michael. Okay. Louisiana as a whole has other sources Not of revenue. New Orleans. My slave. Look, Wait. I'm tired. Okay, shut up. Yeah. Are you, uh, are you, are you sure I'm not the only one drunk one here? Daniel. Um. God. Um. And the the woman begins to walk out, and she she turns around and she says, "Oh, and uh, should you need anything, uh, within reason, I might be able to help you out." But it really depends on what you're asking, what you're offering. Um, the name's Ignia if you need it. I do have uh, one question, uh, Ignia. Um. Yes. We uh, the reason we're in town is we're looking for. Um, a friend of my friend Veldrin here, um, who has been passing through the desert, and we were wondering if she has passed through here, possibly. Hmm. Uh, she's a, uh, Veldrin. How old would you say Bianca is? You never tell, a woman never tell her age. You never ask a woman, especially her, her age. Also, they're elves, so that makes it like ten times trickier. That is also true, but that's why I was asking Vildren. <laughs> she's like three hundred years wow, old. Like, that should be she's, a, she's, 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 a, she's a drow. She's hmm. I don't believe so. However, if she has been passing generally through the desert, I may be able to. We may find out soon enough. And, uh... She... She, like, turns around to leave. And, um... She heads out. And, uh... Dripnose follows her. And y'all are now alone in with an unconscious bruise, and Spirit and Aaron are wandering the streets looking for bruise. Yeah, uh, you stay here. Uh, Oh, you're about okay. Vel's about to say, "I'll go find the others." Oh well, if Vel's gonna go, then yeah, Vel's. Vel's I was gonna have him say while they were there, but they left. So Vel's was just like, "I'm gonna go find the others," and he's gonna walk out. I pull up a chair next Uh, to uh, Nero's bed. She snores. (laughs) Good gods. With that dumb look on her face. But Vico, there aren't any good gods. Well, no, no, Uncle's cool. Uncle's a cool <laughs> dude. Hey, Doe's pretty chill. Doe is pretty chill, but, you know, Vico just kind of saw her die, so it's like... I don't know, sounds like a lot of hoopla to me. Hoopla! <laughs> he, still don't, he still don't like the orb. Ah, <laughs> uh, humbug. I don't like the orb uh. because the orb pitied me. <laughs> but I, I don't like... like I, look... Um, Vico's hypocrisies aside, um, <laughs> he just kind of sits there. I guess he he pulls out the poetry book uh, and he writes down uh, the the names of the uh, the bartender, Ignia, and the uh, what's uh, the, the black. T- And it's it's right hmm, under the, so. the list with um, Pink Pier? like Gold Dirk's name. And, yes, Pink Pier, Pin uh, Pin Pier. How do you say the name? Um, Prim Pier, P R I M P I R. Oh, Prim Pier, Prim Pier. I always I always hear <laughs> Gold Dirk. I hear Gold Dirk, and I think of Swamp Pokemon. Get out of my swamp! Oh, oh God, um, he's a he, he's a muck. <laughs> Of Gerda, that's what I think of. I think of Shrek. I think of I think Swampert and one of the the bronze from Breath of the Wild. (laughs) Like specifically the that design. Continue. Well, I was gonna say after uh, say like twenty minutes, Valtron eventually returns with uh, Aaron and Spirit in tow and uh, and that's. Where we're gonna end the next session. <laughs> Tadriel was in the bar the entire time. 
Todd, Todd Drill's in the bar. Uh, I'm Get going strong. to address that. I'm going to address that next time because okay. Pondre is going to be here next time. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, that's a setup. Michael, nice, nice. Michael, just, yeah. just appears. Michael, you crafty hmm. son of a bitch. Well, assuming you know, the Haas is here next time. Assuming there is yeah. next time, pulls a gun on Michael. <laughs> Michael, you want to do an Iggy outro? Sure. Uh, who is who is this uh, Ignia lady? Uh, what was what's Just... happening with uh stuff and things? Uh, there's not really much suspense here. 